Hi everyone, how are you? Look at all that beautiful sunshine oh, that I have streaming through the window. We had pouring rain this morning and now it's cleared up to be a beautiful day. Today I wanted to talk about peace, love and transitions. One of the things that we want out of our life, isn't it, to have peace. We want love, but we don't always have it. You know, often when I'm working with clients, they say, I just want peace, I just want calm. I just want love, I just want that relationship. But how do we transition and what's the cost of doing that? What do we do to move from our old identity, which is stuck in scarcity, struggle, survival, and shift from there into our desired reality of I choose. I choose to live the life that I love. I choose to be the predominant creative force in my life. I choose to be magnetic. I choose to be the magnificence of who I am in every moment. I choose to be successful. We have choices. And then we have on the other end of the scale, we have our current reality. And of course, we shift and oscillate between the two. So what's the cost? If I really choose to be this way, what do I have to give up? What, do I'm, what am I losing? What's the worst thing that can happen if I choose to, to step into this new identity over here? What if I choose to let go of the old stories, the epigenetics, the bloodline and family programming, what if I choose not to stay stuck in my story? What if there was a way that I could step out of that, keep the wisdom, the knowledge and the understandings, but not keep recreating it? One of the things when we problem solve and we're, when we're looking for peace, our unconscious thinks we don't have it. So it's always going to be looking for it. So even if you achieve it, you're not going to hold it because your unconscious mind it keeps going. Well, that person thinks they don't have peace because they're always looking for peace. So even when you have that little bit of peace and calm and love in your life, because all your thoughts have been around finding it, finding joy, finding happiness, our unconscious mind thinks we've always got to find it. So even when we even get a taste of it we can't keep it we can't hang on to it but there is a better way there is a better way if you become a conscious creator and become that super conscious being and awaken your full potential then you can shift and change so please join me in my group coaching program i'd love to see you pm me and let me know and let's start working together in the group where you're going to get that shift and change that you your heart desires so thanks very much and um great to chat with you and talk again soon bye for now